this is a first edition. Today, Darwin has achieved an almost mythic status. Original copies of the origin of species are handled with extreme reverence, while specimens he collected are treated almost as relics. Sometimes, however, something collected by Darwin achieves a status beyond what it really deserves, as zoology curators found when the story of one of his bird collections was pieced together. These are Darwin's finches. They were collected on his great five-year voyage of discovery on the Beagle in the 1830s. They're often cited as the spark for Darwin's big idea, his theory of evolution. Variation in the finch's beak shape and size demonstrate how they'd evolved to take advantage of food available in their particular habitat. The, the misconception is that the, the finch has provided Darwin with this great eureka moment in the Galapagos. He arrived, he sees little finches on the, on the, on the beach, he sees different beaks and he thinks, ah! Species change, it's evolution. They are really important as, a, as an example of what Darwin was trying to explain, but they weren't that for Darwin. The museum does, however, hold a set of birdskins that have been largely overlooked by the history books. Darwin's Mockingbirds. Darwin collected a number of them from the South American mainland. When the expedition moved on to the Galapagos archipelago, Darwin found mockingbirds on several of the islands. In the Galapagos, when he arrived, he collected this, this bird here. Um, on the second island he visited, he collected this one here, the Floriana mockingbird. And it was the differences between these two birds that really got him started thinking. Now, the reason he could think about these two birds and notice a difference is because of these ones. The mainland birds collected by Darwin showed little variation. What surprised him about the Galapagos mockingbirds was not only their difference to those from the mainland, but how they varied from island to island. If you see there, it's kind of blank, pale chest, there's nothing going on there. And this one here has got this dark, dark chest band. Birds are a bit different in size, and there's some differences in the beak shape. It was, it was different enough for him to think, well, that's, that's extraordinary, that's, that's greater than any of the differences I've seen across the continent of South America. And he, he wrote in his, his, his notes that, you know, these differences might mean that species changed. So we know it was the mockingbirds that helped him and not the finches. The variation in mockingbirds isolated from each other led Darwin to question the stability of species an idea that would eventually lead him to his theory of evolution by natural selection. For me, it's really important to reinstate the mockingbirds as they're in their rightful position as, as Darwin's uh, key bird inspiration. We can understand Darwin better by, by looking at the mockingbirds and knowing these are the key ones and not the finches.